that was kind of like a before. No, it's fine. I can watch. Look at that though. That That's looks really good. Pretty flawless. I've heard good things about Naked though, so I just can't personally tell you. Oh yeah, you'll swear. <laughs> Look at that. Sharon, Do you like um, it? Oh, it matches with her neck. And Nicolette. She's a little bit lighter. lighter. Okay. She's got more cooler undertones. Nicolette's a little bit warmer. Almost neutral. You're almost like me. I'm neutral. So. Two, but I don't want it to look hasty. That's super This is a 1.5. Oh, so you're going to stay with it. Let's go try it. Yeah. Oh, wow. See the difference between that? I'm thinking that one. Me too. This is the 2.0. But it might be a little too yellow. The only thing is a little concerned. Oh, I see what you're, that is yellow compared to her skin, skin is more like that one. Yes, more of a cool tone. Yeah. So I almost would do the 1.5. Because you have to remember too, once we blend it out, it doesn't look so light. Mm -hmm. You have makeup on it. Yeah. 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 I almost would do 1.5 because once it oxidizes, it's going to get a little bit more yellow. And I think 2.0 is going to be too yellow. So what do you think, Sharon? Yeah, yeah. I really like that. I think that. the 1.5. I'm gonna get right into Nicolette's face here. We just used the Benefit Professional on her, it primed her face, primed her neck. We chose the Urban Decay uh, 3.5 with Nicolette. I'm using it on her brand new Dampened Beauty Blender. And we're just gonna go in there and dab, dab, dab. Dab it all over her face, get it in real good. They have a photo shoot today for the Miss California USA State Pageant pictures. Excited for these beautiful, talented young ladies. As you can see right here, Nicolette is in high school. She's a senior in high school and a phenomenal soccer player. And we are getting her to enjoy makeup. <laughs> she loves it so much. Not really. Now we're going to go in there with the Benefit uh eyebrow pencil in the Precisely My Brow. I love this pencil and Nicolette has really good eyebrows. I didn't really have to do much to her as you can see. Now I'm gonna go in with a 3D brow, sorry, and uh, highlight those eyebrows because she does have a lot of blonde hair and her eyebrows are quite a bit darker than her hair. So I just kind of wanted to lighten that up. Now I'm taking the Soft Ochre MAC Paint Pot and I'm gonna go in there and create a base for her eyeshadow. I'm giving her basic steps because when these ladies go to Miss California USA pageant in um, later on this year, they will have to do their makeup themselves. So I'm just getting them all prepped up. I uh, went to Miss California USA myself in oh, 2000. I was Miss Sacramento Valley 1999. Ooh, I'm aging myself. These girls are so young. I could probably be their mother. Anyway, I uh, now I'm going in there with uh, her transition color, and I took this from the Tarte Amazonian Clay Palette, giving her like a nice little basic transition color. We're going for a golden glow with these young ladies, and I'm going in there with that second inner corner. I always do the one, two, three, so I did the one, and then the two, I went a little bit darker to create that ombre look with a little bit more of like a bronzy, darker brown, bronzy tone. Now I'm going in there with um, a, like a light golden color from the palette. It's like a light golden brown. I'll have all the colors on the bottom. You can check that out. But as you can tell, I wet my brush so that I can pick up more pigment to get onto that eyelid. And I'm creating that nice, soft, beautiful golden tone for Nicolette. 
we really want it to go for more of a bronzy look. Now I'm going in with that Cover Girl eyeshadow that I always use to kind of carve out that crease right there on the bottom. Give it that little bit of a nice edge and I will be blending that out. I also did an inner corner highlight with the Morphe um, Mimosa Sunday that I always love to use to create that eyebrow highlight and eyebrow bone highlight and also the inner corner. Now I'm going in with the Shape Tape in light medium. This color was very good for both girls. I did have to go a little bit lighter with Paige, but I will show you that in a second. So we got her all concealed up, didn't have much because she's got beautiful skin. And now I'm gonna go in and set that concealer with the Laura Mercier setting powder. And I did have her buy the travel size because Nicolette does not uh, tend to wear any makeup um, on most days. So she didn't need much, but this is great for somebody like Nicolette who does sweat quite a bit and like myself who sweats quite a bit. You definitely want to set that makeup with a translucent powder. Now we're going to go in there and kind of shape out her, uh, contour her nose with uh, the Smashbox little contour kit. Again, I will have all the details on the bottom, so go ahead and look for that. But as you can see right here, I'm just kind of, um, she has, uh, uh, her nose shifts a little bit to the right. Um, she plays a lot of soccer, so she's had some injuries. So we kind of just kind of con contoured that and um, made it a little bit more balanced as she wanted. And I put some highlight, um, of course, down the center of her nose and at the tip of her nose to kind of create that natural highlight. Now we're going in with a bronzer from Thrive Cosmetics. This bronzer is amazing, all natural, I love it. And I'm going in there with my Morphe brush and just, um, again, just creating that bronzed, that bronzed look. She's going to Hawaii soon, so she'll be a little bit more tan in a little before state pageant, so I'll probably have to go up on her foundation. And then we're gonna take um, the Mary Luminizer from the Balm Cosmetics and give her a nice pretty highlight. Again, going in at that nose and then the cupid's bow, a little bit on the chin, and just creating that nice, pretty summer look. I'm gonna spray it with All Nighter by Urban Decay, my favorite setting spray. These girls are going to make that their best friend. Now I'm gonna do the lower lash line with the same colors as I used on her upper lids. And we're just kind of blending everything together now, just softening it and getting it all ready. Now I'm gonna start on Paige. We're doing this quickly so I didn't bore you too much with too much makeup details. With Paige, I had to go to Urban Decay Naked 1.5. She's a lot lighter and cooler than Nicolette's skin tone. So we're going in there. Again, beautiful skin, so didn't have to do much with a dampened beauty blender to really blend it out, uh, making sure that she is covered on all spots. They have a photo shoot and it is hot here in Sacramento, California. Now I'm going in with her MAC eyebrow pencil and I am going to uh, just kind of shape up her eyebrows a little bit creating more eyelid space for Paige so that we can go in there and give her a nice contoured eyeshadow look going up on those eyebrows kind of carving out with an, uh, tooth a toothpick sorry about that a cotton swab a q-tip <laughs> and uh, fixing that up again going in with soft ochre mac paint pot to create a nice base these are gonna be some essentials for these girls as they go to the state pageant later on this year. And as you can see, I'm setting in that concealer with my famous Smashbox contour palette. I love that natural color to just to kind of set in that um, MAC paint pot. Now I'm going in, same thing, using that like a brown transition color now into the darker inner corners. This is going really fast, so I'm having to speak really fast. Going in with Mimosa Sunday from Morphe Brushes and again, just highlighting that eyebrow bone and also creating a nice pretty lid. I love these pressed pigments by Morphe. They're amazing. I do wet my brush with Urban Decay All Nighter Spray before I go in there. Now I'm just kind of blending everything out, making sure, again, we weren't, we weren't trying to go for too much. We did a little bit more with Paige because she is Miss Sacramento Valley USA. Uh, Nicolette's younger and a teen, so we kind of try to keep her a little bit softer. We did a little bit more drama to Paige's eyes because she has such a beautiful young face. We just kind of given her more of a mature look. Now going again with that Shape Tape Concealer. I did use Light Medium Honey with Paige. So I use Light Medium with Nicolette, but Light Medium Honey with Paige. 
And as you'll see in a second, I'm gonna actually go in there with even a little bit lighter color to create that nice little highlight. But right now we're just giving her that nice concealer base, cleaning up everything. Now, as you can see right here, this is, uh, I wanna say use light sand uh, on that highlight bone, but I will have it all on the bottom. So just look out for the details in the comment section. Again, just blending it out with the Beauty Blender. Make sure, you're, again, always, as always, your Beauty Blender is damp when you do this. Now I'm setting it with the Laura Mercier setting powder to make sure we set in that concealer and nothing moves. Now, again, going in with the Thrive Cosmetics bronzer, giving it to her cheeks and also her hairline and to the bottom of her chin. And now I'm going with MAC Give Me Sun. I also use this on Nicolette on top of her uh, uh, matte bronzer. I also use the uh, matte Give Me Sun. And there you are, Miss Sacramento Valley Teen USA, Miss Sacramento Valley USA. Thanks guys, see you on the next tutorial, bye. <laughs>